This is not. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. Well, I'm telling you about a man called Jesus. He's alive and well. I'm a witness. Hey, man, to the Lord be alive and well. Hello, somebody. Huh? I just don't call. I'm not, not named an apostle because I don't know. Hello, somebody. I'm named an apostle. But I heard the apostle say, have I not seen thee? Hello, somebody. If you ain't saw him, you lie. What you say? I don't care how many churches have got together and to put oil on you. If you ain't seen thee, you ain't been to the third heaven. You better tell it up there tell it up. Amen. They're saying, amen. Oh, well, I ain't telling them what the book of Revelation say you. See, those that call themselves apostles and are not, but are the sin of God. Huh? What you say? Y'all see in a minute. What you mean when you see in a minute? When you go get married and two men's married going to marry you? What you say? When the head of that church you mess around with. When the man is married to another man, he's the head of the church. Mm. He's going to turn around and marry you. Or she married to another woman. He's going to turn around and marry you. He got all that Harvard education, all that Yale education. Let me educate you in the old-fashioned, huh? The old folks. Uh, uh, I'm going to carry you to college where the old folks used to go. Some of them be okay and clean. Now you, <laughs> now you go to all these universities you want to go to. Hello, somebody. Hello, huh? Solomon Gamara is, is, is manifesting itself in a mighty way. Hello, somebody. Amen. And, and his dad is going to his destruction. Hello, somebody. Amen. Praise be to God. You better trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean out of You got your hand in the lion mouth. You better try to trust in God. The deliverer, you better trust in who's going to deliver you, who's going to bring you up, who's going to put you on your feet. Hey, hello, somebody. Because you look at them. Mama ain't going to be able to help you. Sister ain't going to be able to help you. Mama came and helped herself. Hey, hello, somebody. Mama been that way for years and ain't been able to change. Hey, hello, somebody. And you don't mess around and be the same way if you don't mess around and trust the Lord. Amen. Uh, well, I, I, I'm on my way up. Amen. They passed the torch to me. I want to go a little bit higher. I don't want to go back. I don't want to stay stand still. Some of these, these children in Israel, the Bible said God told Moses to tell them to, stay, huh, to be still. Some of us need to be still. Some of us, not still. Some, some of us need to stop to be still. This flesh got us moving here and moving there. We, in other words, we need to be still. We need to steal away to Jesus. We need to trust in the Lord. We need to hello somebody. We 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 making a lot of steps and getting nowhere. We always doing this and always doing that and over instead of waiting on the Lord. My Bible said, wait on the Lord. Wait, I say on the Lord. Be of good courage. Hello, somebody. Don't be afraid. Just wait on God. Just trust in God. God gonna bring about a change. All you got to do is know God gonna bring about a change. You have a preacher. You don't know what I'm going through. You don't know what's going, but God gonna bring about a change. I got my trust in the Lord. I believe God for that. Oh, but preach, I, look, I, 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 tell, I tell you what, I don't care what it is you're going through. It ain't nothing God can't work out. Hello, somebody. It ain't already worked out. Hello, somebody. All you got to do is believe that he's the Christ, he's the Son of God. Hello, somebody. Whomsoever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. All you got to do is put your trust and your faith in the Lord. Don't worry about what you see. The Bible says faith is the such a thing. Hopefully, ever this is a thing not seen. The things that you see are not by faith. It's the evidence of thing not seen, not what you see. Hello, somebody. Hey, man, Amen. You're walking by sight instead of walking by faith. Hello, somebody. Huh? You, uh, uh, praise be to God. Hello, I'm just saying, hey, amen. Amen. Uh, but I preach them, but they, I don't see that but a bunch of head raising here, but, but you don't see the peace. And you better believe in the peace. What you said? Hello, somebody, huh? See that, that all, all, all the reason they raise the sand like that, they want you to believe in that raise the sand. People, people think when they jump right and talk trash to you, you ought to jump when they said jump. And look at them, just like they're crazy. They keep going right on what you, look at them. When you got your mind made up about a thing, uh, man, this whole world, every, every stone upon another stone can be thrown down. It ain't going to change your mind. Not if your mind made up. Not if your heart already fixed. Amen. I'm going to trust in the Lord to the day I die. Amen. All that hit raising you're doing ain't changed nothing. 
It got you in the mess you in. They gonna pull me down in the mess with you. Hello, somebody. All that fear you trying to come up with, you trying to call me to fear the Lord, to fear my progress. But look at people. Look at people that hate on you. Boy, look at when God has a purpose in your life. Y'all better hear this. Here. When God has a purpose in your life, when you are somebody. God purpose a purpose in your life. And that devil will do everything in his power to get you off of, off of following God. He'll, he'll do everything in his power to keep you from walking in the glory of God. He'll try to get you to walk in the glory of man. He'll try to get you to walk in the glory of flesh. But the Lord is my glory. Hello, somebody. I'm glorying in the Lord. I'm trusting the Lord. His glory is forever lasting. He'll never fail. Hello, somebody. And that's what my trust is, and that's what my trust remains. Hello, somebody. Huh? Don't you look at me. You know, you know what people bother me when they won't do nothing unless they see the preacher do it. If the preacher come fix up, they're gonna fix everything in town. They got I gotta do I gotta do this. Man, look at you, you not don't you understand that what you're revealing to God that you bought not bought nothing. Don't you understand that God is sitting high looking low? How I mean, who do you think you're fooling? If God has put the, if I love the Lord as much as I say I love the Lord, then he ought to put something on my heart. And, and when I start something, all the, if it's from God, it will not just stop, 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 stop. Hello, somebody. And to God change the course. It'll just keep on going right on. I don't need the preacher to have to, to start doing this for me to do this. If, if, if I got a preacher, if there's a preacher in the house and God put me in there for my purpose, if I were to do what I'm supposed to be doing, but I'm, I'm sitting back waiting on the preacher. If he, <laughs> don't you know God hate all that? Don't you know God is not pleased with that? Don't you know God is not going to bless that? All you doing is doing something because you saw somebody else do it. Or you want to impress the preacher instead of impressing God. Instead of doing the right thing in the eyesight of God. You're going to do so much for God, but you ain't going to do so much unless you see somebody else do it. Praise be to God. I thank God none of y'all wasn't here saving the children of my wife when the street ministry and all started up. We stopped praying. I, I, so I didn't have to copy now one of y'all. And sure wasn't copy now another preacher. Hello, somebody. Amen. You do a thing for the Lord, you do it from your heart. You do it from your heart. And you do it, when you do it from your heart, you do it with all your might. All your might, all your power. And God will see your faithfulness, and God will bless your faithfulness. But the minute the preacher, I'm like, I had to do this. I was going to do this. Here. I... Go on and get some rest. For God strike you dead. Go on, go on get, start playing with God. Stop playing on God because you ain't playing God now. Amen. Because God is real. He's sitting high, looking low. Amen. God put a purpose in each and every one of us. And if you don't want to fulfill your purpose, that's your business. If you need motivation, uh, hello, somebody. Nobody has to motivate us to run behind that money. Nobody has to motivate us to run behind that money. Amen. Praise be to God. So, so, in other words, what I stopped by here to tell you is that in order for you to come up out of a situation, you have to put God first. God will never be second. You, nobody has to motivate us to run behind that money, but people have, you have to see somebody else serving God in order to serve. What do you do now? You have to see somebody else fixing himself around God in order for you to fix anything. What you say? Huh? I'm just saying, amen. Praise be to God. When 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 it's time to serve God, you serve God with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul. This is what preach I serve. I I'm here on this and I'm here on that. I'll be doing this. I'll be. Accept your righteousness. Exceed the righteousness of the Pharisees. And the substitute, you shall have no wise into the kingdom of God. 
Amen. Amen. Nah, nah, nah. You just, you, you just, hello, somebody. You just going by protocol. You just, hello, somebody. Amen. When you see something need to be done, it ought not to keep on need to be done. What you say? When you see something need to be done, when God show you need something need to be done, and you said, I'll get with that in a minute. I'll get that. Amen. And then right after that, five minutes later, God show you a piece of money, and you run behind that money. God just proved your heart. What you say? I, I, what, huh? if, if God tell you to go pray, and you go on to pray in a minute, and then tell you about getting your glass of water, you go get a glass of water, God just proved your heart. The devil ain't tell you to go pray. What you say? Huh? He ain't tell you that, amen. That had to come from God. The devil don't never want you to pray. Not as if you pray on somebody to die. But it will fall down on somebody. But he, he ain't orchestrate you to hello somebody, huh? Amen. So 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 it don't take no rocket science to figure out. Amen. If there's something that God needs you to do, and you can put that off to the model. But you can't put this worldly thing off. I mean, I don't have to be. Is enough said about that? I don't have to be the one that direct you through that. If you didn't that much darkness, just stay there. Hello, somebody. Amen. But those that are with the Lord follow the law. Amen. Follow God. He won't lead you wrong. Y'all young folks out there at that schoolhouse, school is about to be over with. You see individuals not carrying on the way you carrying on, and some of y'all young folks out there carrying on any kind of way, trying to be a worse disturbing than anybody else, when they come and start giving you that medication, and, and, and that medication run you crazy, said it was because of how I was acting. And I should have never been acting that way. I should have acted like I had some sense. Because them people around me ain't necessarily got that kind of love for me. Huh? They believe I ought to be in a corner with my mouth closed, hello somebody, and sitting there at attention. And if I don't, they're going to drop a pill in my mouth that sure going to make me be over there at attention and sitting still. Hello, somebody. But me, I done made up in my mind, I ain't taking that pill. So I must be going to trust in the law. And I'm going to trust in the law to the day I die. And God going to keep me on the straight and narrow. And then I'm going to have to act foolishly. Amen. And, and cut all ties with folks that run around acting foolish. Amen. Cut all ties with people that want to stay in trouble. Amen. You ought to, have, you, you ought to be on your way up. You ought to have your mind made up that I am somebody, that I am going to be somebody, and I'm going to keep on being somebody. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody, because God, I'm a child of God, and God already has plans for my life. He has plans for me to succeed and not fail. He has with me to deliver me from the enemy. He's with, he with me to deliver me from the storm. He's with me to deliver me from the trials of tribulation. He's with me to deliver me out of the hands of the Egyptians. He's, he's with me to deliver me out of the hands of sin. Hello, somebody. And that sin that he delivered me from, I'll never see again. Hello, somebody. The reason you keep going through the same thing is because you have not been still for God to deliver you from that particular demon. And that particular demon is still alive because you keep moving. Hello, somebody, huh? And you put your mind, you stay your mind on the Lord. You make your mind up that you're going to trust God. I mean, that enemy, there's all kind of stuff out there in that school nowadays. Y'all young girls out there with, in a world where they want girls to be with girls and boys to be with boys. And that demon, that demon uh, come at you all kinds of ways. But if you have your mind made up, 
If you will steal your mind on Jesus, 